Graham, you've brought in some wonderful records, some Jeremy Lewis records. But I don't want you to put that in here. I want you to come on the sofa with me, okay. if that's all right. Pick them up. And just take a few here, because I want to talk to you about, you are a huge Jerry Lee Lewis fan, that's aren't correct. you? Yes. And you have been for years. You actually met him when you were 19, didn't you? That's right. Where was that? That was in London, but I've been to his home and stayed at his home. In America? Yes. Yeah, fabulous. In fact, in the 1960s, you went over to Memphis? To Memphis, Tennessee. And stayed there. And this is what I want to talk to you about, because when you were there, you stayed there, and you thought, Ooh, while I'm here, I'll buy some records, some 78s and yes. vinyl records. And you found a particular kind of shop warehouse, really, didn't you? Went rummaging around, and you particularly wanted to collect uh, Sun Records, didn't That's you? That's right. Now, that Sun is uh, the name of the label. That's correct. Uh, the That's the uh, first label that Jerry Lee recorded on, and a great many rock and roll artists. Sun is probably the that. most famous label in the world. Absolutely. Wonderful. And um, there was one particular selection of records. So you're always popping into this shop, That's so right. I believe. Is, am I right? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Jerry would drive me down there in the morning. Because it is your passion, yeah. I know that. Yeah. And there was one particular selection that you kind of took out and thought, oh, I'll buy those. But you wanted to take them home with you in your suitcase, didn't you? That's right. Some right. of them were 78s, which yeah. are breakable, like, like this record. Yeah, very delicate, yeah. And very delicate. And I had already found earlier on some metal master records, old masters. Yeah. And I used the metal masters to pack my 78s. And in fact, you brought them in, haven't you? You've I got brought them these in. These two bits of metal here. You yes. put one on top, that's right. one underneath, and then you wrapped some tape around them, I've shoved them in your suitcase, That's correct. brought them home. I used these, yep. these records yep. to, to bring pack the 78s to, to save them being broken. Well, it's very interesting, you see, because these records here that you brought back, I mean, they're very valuable, as you say, some very valuable records. Um, they're actually worth 400 pounds, but they're not what I'm interested in, because it is the packaging that is of most interest to us. Now, when you got back, you put these on some shelves somewhere in a cupboard, didn't you? That's right. And you left them there for, what, 30 years or so? 31 years. 31 years, until last year, you brought them out because you had a friend round, and you thought, A friend came them. round and asked if I could play these records, mm. and I knew that they were masters, mm. and therefore they played backwards, because these are the records that yep. stamped the record. So I fixed my record player, because I have a TV shop, and I fixed the record player to run backwards. <laughs> and it's the first yeah. time ever that I had played well, them. Well, last year, and this that's is right. what you heard? That's right. Well, that's all right, mama. <laughs> that's all right for the you. The King. The very that's first record right. he made. Elvis Presley, the very first record he made. That's all right, mama, is one of these. That's right. The other one is the last record he made on the Sun that's right. uh, label, which was? Good Rockin' Tonight. Yeah. Okay. A mystery train. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely, mystery train. Now, you reckon that these are master discs. Well, we took them along to Abbey Road recording studios and we got everybody there to look at them because they really know their stuff there, as you know. And they have told us, Graham, that they're not master discs. Uh, what they have said is that they're even rarer than that. They are mother stamper discs, which are involved in the very first processes of making a record. It's before you get to the master. Before the master. Before the master, which makes them even more rare than the master itself and um, then we took them to Ted Owen who is our valuation expert in this particular area and uh, he's given us a valuation. Just tell me how much this little package cost you all those years ago. They cost me about 15 cents each, about 50 pence for all of them. For the whole thing, about Everything. 50p? <laughs> well now 400 pounds for that Ted Owen said that these could fetch 25,000 pounds. <laughs> Well, that's quite amazing. <laughs> I'll put them back in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> yes, don't play them again, please. We've got some copies of them that you can play here, okay. but don't ever play those on your record player again. Thank you very much for Thank such a fascinating much. tale. Thank you, Graham Knight. No